I look like a, I was saying I look like a sheep, don't I? You look like Ken. Yes, a little bit. A little bit, <laughs> a bit taller, yeah? I spoke to him on Friday and he said that he is the male equivalent of your girlfriend. Kem's the male equivalent. Of Jesse, yeah. He said that we're exactly oh, yeah, the same people. I suppose it makes sense that that's why we're so close, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, maybe perhaps not as physical with Kem. Yeah. If they Kem's musical talent is, is good, <laughs> but yeah, they're both on like good levels, but she's I've got, still I've got a little bit. I've got a massive fan of you two, massive fan of Love Island. I do miss seeing you together a bit. I know, but we're, we're working hard at the minute. Like We're, we're going to come back with something strong. Okay. So stay tuned. He's also very excited about getting Little Mix tickets. He told me not to tell you, but I'll yeah. let the cats I know, we'll sort them out. Yeah, a lot of cats do, yeah. So, Bless I mean, I never thought I'd see you so loved up. I don't know why. No. Do you know, a lot of people have said that, but I've always been one for love. And um, no, I, do you know what? I'm, I'm very loved up. This is the happiest I've ever been. I'm just, I'm just, just loving it. Just love life at the minute. So when you saw Jessie in videos and you saw her on the X Factor, perhaps at the time, I didn't really know much about her though, to be honest. I just, I just always thought she was so beautiful. And then when I went on a date with her, it was I was like, oh, that date, I, you, I can't even. I need 10 minutes to, with you to try and describe how good that date was. Was it the kebab day? Yeah, it was, yeah, but it was unbelievable. So we went for cocktails before. Yeah. Like we made like these proper potion -y ones. Like some went crack, some went bang, some had a bit of fire, a bit of smoke. And that's just, that was, I don't know, like where the, where the spark started. It was, it was actually, um, I think it was love at first sight. No, I saw her. Do you know what it was? I was about, I'll let you in. I was about three minutes late for the date. Three minutes late. So she was in the queue and I came up the stairs into the place. And she was I was, she was there in my face. I was like, whoa. I was like, oh, jeez. So I started doing it. I started getting a bit nervous, yeah. yeah so how have her friends and family accepted you and how have yours? Because we love your parents. We love them from yeah, the villa. Yeah. Is it all just a massive, great big bundle of love? Oh, yes, yeah, a bundle of love. Like, Jess's family's... Amazing, love and pieces, all of them. Yeah, such a lovely family. Her mum's just a wonderful woman, and very similar to my mum in a lot of respects. So it's nice, and they love the Cotswolds as well. So they, we're always like, we're always between each other's houses. So it's lovely. Yeah. And the last question about Jessie: it must be very tough for you to watch that program. Yeah. Um, how proud are you of her? Because that was just yeah, such, it's such phenomenal. guts. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it was unbelievable. She's just the strongest woman I've ever met. She's honestly so. She's not just, she's brave wouldn't be the word, but she's just so strong in herself and um, she's come so far and she's never had it easy from like day one and yeah, just you got to tip your hat to her. She's an unbelievable woman and proper role model. And so when's the ring coming, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> one day. Hey! One day. And I've got to ask you, Cheltenham, you know, we are so chuffed to do so well with your horse racing yeah, yeah. and TV presenting. Is that kind of what you wanted to do? Yeah, well, with the racing thing, it was brilliant. So I've been involved in horse racing all my life. Like I've ridden race horses since I was 11 years old, and I've ridden horses since I was about six years old. So the racing was, yeah, so fortunate for me. I'm just loving it. Yeah, working with ITV Racing, where it's great team, great, like, real tight knit. It feels like a little community of, of a, like, a team, and it's, yeah, it's brilliant. I love it. I always want to go down that route, um, always from the start, from when I left Love Island. And love it. I found, like, a bit of a niche now, so I'm enjoying it, yeah. It's funny, Jesse's a singer, you're a rapper. Can we see a little collab? <laughs> Honestly, no. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I wish. I use rapper really quite loosely, yeah, by the way. Yeah, it is loosely, yeah. And just finally, um, what happens next with you? Are you going to be watching Love Island in January? Are you going to be watching I'll it be in watching July? It. You know what January is like? It's dead for TV, isn't it? So. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course I'll be watching it. Yeah, no, I'll be watching it anyway. I watched it all last summer with, with my girlfriend and love it. You need something to watch, don't you? Something to tune into. Yeah. It's quiet at the minute. And Molly and Tommy are here. Are you? Yeah, you I'm on their table. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice yeah, to Tom see together. Tommy, um, yeah, I met, met a few times before. Lovely lad. This is a success lad. story. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. Pleasure, Super nice pleasure. Thanks, mate. Thank, Thank you. Take you. care. Yeah. Cheers. All the best. Stuff in the school at home, <laughs> <No>! <laughs>